The cat's meow in the Big Apple is this swank east side address at 244 East 60th Street. Meander into just cats and browse, browse, browse. There's elegant cat clothing, imported, of course. Owners Joyce Lomana and Allison Steele opened their doors five years ago. And ever since, they've received customers from all over the world seeking their exotic cat merchandise. Cat art, cat collectibles, it's all here at Just Cats, awaiting your visit. And now for everybody's favorite cat expert, let's visit with Dear Tabby, our resident animal behavior specialist and family problem solver. Thank you, John. And welcome to another week of family problem solving where cats and their owners learn how to build happy, loving relationships. This week, I received two interesting letters from cat owners that I'd like to share with you. First, let's go to Scranton, Pennsylvania, where there's trouble in the Brindley household. Our first letter is about Bert, a three-year-old neutered male cat. Bert's owner, Candy Brindley, is a 25-year-old single working female. Let's visit with Candy and see what the problem is. Well, Tabby, I recently moved to a bigger apartment, and Bert here keeps scratching the new sofa. Is there anything I can do? Of course there is, Candy. Tabby's cardinal rule of cats is don't make changes of any kind. Cats hate change, but of course that's not realistic. Now, cats love nubby textures. Your cat may be attracted by the fabric on your new sofa or interested in leaving his mark on the new object in his territory. So the best idea is to exercise a lot of patience and employ a few clever tactics on Bert. Try redirecting Bert's scratching behavior to another object. Now, I recommend a good quality scratching post. Get a sturdy one wrapped in heavy rope or sisal. You can buy one at any pet store or make one yourself. Then rub one of Bert's favorite toys with catnip. Attach it to the post and turn your furniture disaster into a new source of fun. In the meantime, defend your new furniture. Try attaching aluminum foil on the arm of that new chair or couch Bert has decided to scratch. Attach the foil with safety pins or upholstery screws. Things should be back to normal soon. Thanks, Tabby. I'll give your ideas a try. Our next letter comes from cat owner Joyce Swank. She is the proud mother of a five-year-old Siamese named Sassy. Joyce, can you tell the audience what Sassy has been up to? Well, Tabby, during Sassy's annual checkup, I confided to Dr. Andrews, her vet, that things weren't going very well at home. Last week, my mother-in-law complained that we had cat odor in our house. Well, Tom and I never noticed it before. I'm a good housekeeper, and I want to do something about this fast. Well, Dr. Andrews recommended one of those new clumping litters. He said that they make it easy to dispose of both liquid and solid waste. Take away the waste, and the source of the odor is gone. Well, that makes sense, but Sassy's like her name. She may refuse to use it. Joyce, try a good brand of clumping litter and use a trick I learned from one of my colleagues. Ease Sassy into the new type of litter by placing it in a separate box alongside her old box. Gradually, Sassy will accept the new litter and give it a try. Soon she'll refuse to use anything else. Now try this idea before your mother-in-law's next visit. No, by the way, be sure to buy the rigid metal type of scooper. They're the most effective in scooping all the waste out of the box. Thanks, Tabby. It looks like Tabby's got good advice for both Candy and Joyce. Let's hope she put things right in Scranton and Urbana. And for more good ideas, here's a special segment on Two Toys for Cats. Did you know that when cats play, they work off built up energy and stress? And it's a great way for cats and owners to stay in daily contact. So plan a couple of regular play periods every day. Ten minutes is all it takes, and it's fun. Well, here are two good toys for a good time. Here's a simple toy that your cat will love, that you can make in minutes. You start with a brand new, never been worn sock, and spoon some catnip into the toe. Vicki, if you would help me. Certainly. Great. Now fill the stock with cotton stuffing. And you should put enough in to oh, reach the bottom of the ribbing on the sock. Now, tie a knot in the sock. I got it. Excellent. Perfect. Now, take a string and tie it around the knot. You can make a bow out of it. 
Thank you very much. Decorate your sock to look like a mouse. Invite your cat to play and watch the fun happen. Here's another great toy idea that's even easier to make and it's sure to please. Vicki? Take approximately one yard of heavy, stiff wire, something with a lot of spring in it. Your local hardware store will have it. Wind the wire around the end of a two to three inch piece dowel to serve as a handle. Attach a bit of cloth, ribbon, or twine to the other end. Then twirl the handle between your fingers. The other end will come alive, enticing your cat to jump, stalk, and pounce on it while you have a good laugh. Well, that's our show for today. We thank our special guest, veterinarian Dr. Lila Miller, and our dear Tabby for their words of wisdom. We hope you've learned a lot about what makes your cat purr and why your cat behaves in certain ways. Remember, a little understanding and patience goes a long way. Taking special care of your cat pays big dividends for everyone. So for all the crew here at Cattertainment, so long until next time. We're going to end our show today with a look and a listen to a song dedicated to those crazy pussycats and their loving owners everywhere. Take care. Put yourself in the pussycat shoes, pussycat highs, pussycat blues, pussycats, strange creatures they be. Kitties don't think like you and me. Your pussycat, he a good friend of mine when I treat him good. He's feline fine, oh pussycat. He a good friend of mine when I treat him good. He's feline fine. Put yourself in the pussycat boots. When he upset, he runs and scoots. Pussycat, act like the big jungle beast. Hiding and hunting to catch his next beast, oh pussycat. He a good friend of mine when I treat him good. He's feeling like fine, oh pussycat. He a good friend of mine when I treat him good. He's feeling like fine. Pussycat sleeping through the whole day. You come home nightfall, you're ready to play. Rubbing your leg, swatting the toys. Doing wild things and making some noise, oh pussycat. He a good friend of mine when I treat him good. He's feeling like fine, oh pussycat. He a good friend of mine when I treat him good. He's feeling like fine. Pussycat likes the same old routine. Five o'clock meal and ten o'clock dream. Pussycat ain't partial to change. Makes him behave a little bit strange. Pussycat, he a good friend of mine when I treat him good. He's feeling like fine, oh pussycat. He a good friend of mine when I treat him good. He's feeling like fine. Pussycat needs some regular stroking. Engine running for finally stoking. Brushing his coat, rubbing his ears, clipping his claws and cars. Wondering what pussycat do Things that amaze and please me and you Invite kitty up to sit in your lap Cause nobody loves you like your pussycat Oh pussycat, he a good friend of mine When I treat him good He's feeling like fine Oh pussycat, he a good friend of mine When I treat him good He's feeling like fine When I treat him good He's feeling Now you be nice to that pussycat. <laughs>